ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to bring you up to the north, Borlau playing Zarina Thotripper, and down here to the south, a long rival, Vreely playing Nishhaven. These two have been dishing it out before, mostly pretty even games, close calls each time. So far, Borlaug and Vreely are both at two wins. This game right here decides who is the Grandmaster, who is the winner between the two of them. And at the moment, Borlaug has two allies on the field, but only two cards left in his hand, while Vreely with a full hand, three resources, there's the Tomb of Knowledge. No ally on the field, but his Shadow ability is ready soon. There's a stop fee from Borlaug saying, no, you're not allowed to draw any cards with the Tomb of Knowledge. Nishhaven taking another 3 damage. He's already down to 20 life. Wow. But does have a full hand. There's the Kurt Wilhelm onto the field. That's a lot of life. Will Borlaug be able to kill it with the Zarina Thought Tripper? Attacks doing 1 damage only. Not enough. But does attack with the Blake Windrunner. Able to kill it off. Nice move. Borlaug still in the lead. His hand's a bit smaller than Freely's, though, with only one card pretty much being forced to top take it. There's the shadow ability from Nishhaven. Wow, Borlau has just fallen back. There's the armored sandworm. Awesome. That's gonna be tough for Borlau to freaking bite his three bite his teeth through with the armor, all that life, plus the damage. But Nishhaven is taking a lot of damage, already down to 17 life, while Serena's at full life. There's the Priest of Light from Freely. Freely, can he turn it around? He's one pretty much looking like he's going to win. There's a bizarre. Each player draws two cards now each turn. Both with small hands. There's the fireball from Freely doing four damage. This is the first four damage Serena Thotrip has been taking. Borlaug's turn. Four cards in his hand. Can he win this? Can he finally win the match of the best of five? Pretty much. Being able to say he is the better of the two. He is the master. And maybe eventually we'll have a rematch. <laughs> and maybe the other one will win. Really so far with less life but does have the amazing allies on the field. There's another Priest of Light on the field. And another Fireball doing four more damage to the Zarina Thotripper. Look at the field guys. A character who can play really good with allies only having support cards and a mage who's really good without any allies at all has a field full of allies. What's going on? There's the ankle breaker for Borlaug. Serena Thotrip are able to attack and do some damage with that. Freely's turn takes out another ally. He is playing a very ally heavy deck though. Serena attacks, only able to attack the Aeon Stormcall, not even close enough to kill it. There's another ally and a second ally in one turn for the Freely. Freely, he could turn the game. He could turn it in one move, two turns maybe, and he'd win. Borlaug really has to do something, stop him. Freely, I'm not sure what he's going at though. He's pretty much wasting his shadow ability since he would only kill off his own allies. Weird. Nishhaven's a really good mage card for playing a very anti-ally deck, seeing as how his shadow ability targets both his and the enemy enemies, allies. It's not usually the smartest to play with allies. I've seen an Armored Sandworm or an Aeon Stormcaller seeing as how they don't die from the ability, but it's still pretty weird. He has a bunch of Priests of Light in it, and a Kurt Wilhelm. Mm -hmm. Those would die. But there it is. Did you guys see that damage? His full bench attacked. Borlaug almost dead. Serena Thotrip has to do something or it is over. Right here, right now. Will it be over? It brings out a Protector, a Bad Santa. A rainy delay, oh, just delaying the inedible. Will it be enough though? Will she be able to draw the right cards? Attacks doing two damage. Nishaving down to 15 life. Borlaug Zarina though is under the 10 life mark. And with all those allies in the field, look at that, he's just pumping allies out one after another after another. There's a Nightcrawler able to give him some death, nowhere even near enough though. Nishaving down to 14 life. There's the lay low. Wow, and the good has said, will Borlaug be able to turn it around? Look at all the allies from Vreely. Vreely is in the game with 8, 9, 10 allies now. 10 allies on the field. I've never seen this before. The ally field is not even big enough. His allies are falling off the side on the right. Wow, Zarina Thotrip are doing more damage in this haven. 
There's another lay low. He's not going to be able to attack again. And the four more damage from Fireball. Nish Haven's under 10 life. This is so close. The Another ally of Blake Winner and a Lily Rose called for Zarina Thotripper. Nish Haven really taking out another ally. Look at the allies on his field, but he's not able to attack because of the lay low. Borlaug playing such an amazing game. 14 resources, so many support cards, two bad Santas in one turn. Wow, will it be enough though? Will it be enough to win the game? Uses the shadow ability on his ankle breaking, letting him do more damage. Nish Haven down to four life. Ankle breaker is gone. Really? Nish Haven is down to one life and it is over! Borlock was able to turn it around. There was no chance. It was over. But really still lost it. Amazing. Borlau deserved that win. Wow, that was either luck or skill, but GG. You deserved it. Borlau just... Wow. <laughs> My name has been Beyond Serial, and I will see you next time.